So I don't think the Apple Vision Pro is expensive at $3,500. That's crazy, dude. That's a lot. Here's what I think in terms of their positioning. It's the first product of their kind that Apple has released. Getting into augmented reality space has taken a lot of R&D. And what they've built from the demo is at least seems like quite an impressive experience. This first product is not for the average consumer. It is not meant to be adopted the same way that we see iPhones right now. Instead, it's going to find an audience with passionate early adopters. And for them, $3,500 for a piece of technology like this may be more than palatable. The same way that the first Quest did, the first DJI's did. And over time, the price is going to come down and become more mass market. The utility and adoption of this product is also really going to be heavily dependent on the app ecosystem. And again, right out the gate, there's probably not going to be a ton of applications. So what Apple doesn't want is 10 million people buying this tomorrow and trying it on and saying, hey, this is actually not that great because all I can do is watch movies and use my notes app. And what I think is also informative from their naming standpoint is that they call this the Vision Pro, implying that there will just be a Vision regular and likely at a much cheaper price point. I would say that the one caveat is that all the examples that they used in their demo video were these kind of consumer applications rather than professional use applications, which again was probably an intentional decision to make this more palatable to the average consumer. Even if the average consumer can't buy it right now, the idea of getting them excited for the product and getting developers excited for the product and thinking about all the consumer applications rather than, hey, this is just for health professionals to visualize charts.